Hey guys, what's up? We have it at last, the event that everyone has been waiting for. Ever since it was confirmed that he would be a character within Duel Links over November. This is Jesse Anderson and his Crystal Beasts. It says the master of the seven crystals of Caesar has arrived with his family, but Rainbow Dragon hasn't been programmed in yet, according to him. For those of you who didn't watch the anime, Jesse jeweled Jaden within one of the first episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Season 3. This was episodes 106 and 107. Jaden realises near the end of the duel that Jesse's Crystal Beasts have, in his words, no attack points. Not literally, but for the monsters, there was nothing specifically shouting, I am the ace card of the deck. Jesse says, alright, so you've got me. I'm going to sacrifice them to bring out a stronger monster. Jaden replies, you're going to bring it out soon, right? Jesse says uh, to be patient. He is having too much fun to end the duel now. Jaden says, uh, well, if you aren't going to summon it, I will force it out. In Jesse's mind, he thinks, um, believe me, I wish that I could. At the end of the duel where he pretends to summon Rainbow Dragon, he says, meet the most feared monster in my deck. You will never survive. And says, just kidding, and ends up losing the duel. He announces to the Duel Academy that Maximilian Pegasus will make it into a card when they find the ancient stone tablet. And asks, if you find it, let me know, as he, in his words, plum needs it. He will appear randomly within the Duel Links game. Not as a permanent character, but as you defeat various duelists on the map, there is a chance he will appear. The rewards he offers are Crystal Beast, Topaz Tiger, as a secret rare. This is an Earth Beast level 4, with 1600 attack and 1000 defense. And its effect is, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, it gains 400 attack during the damage step only. If this face-up card is destroyed whilst it is in a monster card zone, you can place it in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card instead of sending it to the graveyard. This card, when attacking, becomes 2000 attack, which isn't bad, as well as having the typical crystal beast effect to place itself in the back row when it has been. The next card is crystal beast Ameth. Amber Mammoth as a secret rare. This is an Earth Beast level 4 with 1700 attack and 1600 defense. And its effect is when another face up Crystal Beast monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can make this attack, uh, this card the attack target instead. If this face up card is destroyed whilst it's in a monster card zone, you can place it face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card instead of sending it to the graveyard. This card is able to protect your other crystal beasts as you have smaller ones uh, with much weaker stats. So in this case, battle protection is always useful. Next card is Phantom Sky Blaster. This is a secret rare. This is a Dark Fiend level four with 1,100 attack and 800 defense. And its effect is when this card is normal or flip summoned, you can special summon any number of Sky Blaster tokens. These are fiend types, dark, level 4, with 500 attack and defense, up to the number of monsters you control. During each of your standby phases, you can inflict 300 damage to your opponent for each Sky Blaster monster you control. Sky Blaster monsters you control cannot declare an attack during the turn you activate this effect. This provides you a number of tokens equal to the number of monsters you have. So you can have a full field, uh, potentially. The burn damage is very minimal and is not likely to do much, but it can be used as a tribute for, obviously, your stronger monsters. I believe this was used in the anime, um, perhaps by Yubel. I think this was in the final duel against Jaden. The next card is Crystal Beacon. This is a secret rare. This is a normal spell card that says special summon one Crystal Beast monster from your deck. You must have two or more Crystal Beast cards in your spell and trap card zone to activate and to resolve this effect. This has been used multiple times by Jesse in the anime 
and is one of the staples to bring out a specific crystal beast you want. This card is Rainbow Life. This is a secret rare. This is a normal trap card that says discard one card until the end of this turn. Whenever you would take damage, you gain that amount of life points instead. This was used in the anime when Ubel was controlling Jesse and faced uh, Zane at Truesdale. Uh, Zane had obviously powered up his fusion monster to over 1, 000, uh, 16,000 attack. And for this uh, to activate, Ubel uh, gained that many life points. I don't believe you will get the full benefit of this uh, unless you combine this with a um, forced attack card such as Battle Mania. The next card is Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle. This is a rare. This is a Wind Winged Beast level 4 with 1400 attack and 800 defense. And its effect is, once per turn you can target one face-up Crystal Beast card you control, return that target to the top of the deck. If this face-up card is destroyed while it's in a monster card zone, you can place it face-up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card instead of sending it to the graveyard. This card can manipulate your field and make it so you get the right monsters out when you want. The next card is Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat. This is a rare. This is an Earth Beast level 3 with 1200 attack and 400 defense. And its effect is, this card can attack your opponent directly, but when it uses this effect, any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent is halved. If this face-up card is destroyed whilst it's in a monster card zone, you can place it face-up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card, instead of sending it to the graveyard. This card can attack directly and cause 600 points of damage. This way, if played well, then this can be game-ending. The next card is Crystal Beast Ruby Carbuncle. This is a rare. This is a Light Fairy level 3 with 300 attack and 300 defense. And its effect, and its effect is, when this card is special summoned, you can special summon any, as many Crystal Beast cards as possible from your spell and trap card zone. If this face-up card is destroyed whilst it's in a monster card zone, you can place it face-up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous spell card instead of sending it to the graveyard. This is the card that can bring your Crystal Beast back to the field. It can provide you with significant field advantage. The next card is Crystal Tree. This is a rare card. This is a continuous spell card that says each time a Crystal Beast monster or monsters is placed in either player's spell and trap card zone, place one Crystal Counter on this card. You can send this card to the graveyard, take a number of Crystal Beast monsters from your deck, equal to the number of Crystal Counters that were on this card, then place those monsters face up in your spell and trap card zone as continuous spell. This enables you to summon a Crystal Beast from your deck equal to the number of Crystal Counters on this card. So you, if you have lost your field, you can bring back everything very quickly. The last card is a Triggered Summon. This is a rare card. Activate only when a monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field. Each player can special summon one at level 4 or lower monster from their hand. This is a trap that Jesse used against Jaden when he special summoned elemental hero Neos. He was able to bring out Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle. Since all of the Crystal Beasts meet this criteria, you can bring out any of them. In terms of the event missions, if you duel Jesse 15 times, you get Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. Uh, win against Jesse 7 times, Crystal uh, Beacon. Win against Jesse 3 times, Crystal Beast Amethyst Cat. Win against Jesse 1 time, Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle. Win against Jesse without taking damage, uh, Triggered Summon. And Tribute Summon 3 times in duels against Jesse. Um, you get Crystal Tree. So what do you guys think about this event? Are you disappointed that Jesse hasn't been brought as a permanent character? Or was this fine? Did you want any other Crystal Beast cards, as such as the Field Spell Ancient City Rainbow Ruins? And did you want the event to last longer as it uh, ended on November the 15th? Leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, Click the bell for notifications, and as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this.